mean, I think with any any project or whenever you're starting any new initiative, major barriers, well, especially right now with COVID is hard, you know, it's hard getting people. I know we can do virtual meetings, but it's not always the same to engage people that way. Um, also, obviously barriers with funding. Um, again, it, this is the beginning of my journey, but in the short amount of networking, short amount of time that I've been doing networking, I've noticed how many interests there are in this. Like I've spoken to Mission Green Toronto and they're hopefully gonna help with like planting trees around the Black Creek Ravine to prevent some flooding there. Um, I also spoke to another couple who's newer to the area as well. They're really interested in starting an urban farming, which I thought was a great idea. So the things that I thought would be barriers of like people being more resistant to it haven't come up yet, but I'm sure it might. And people will have resistance for many of different reasons. And, you know, I think it's just important to listen and understand uh, maybe what people's resistance is. It could be anything from, you know, not being accessible due to many of reasons to maybe they don't feel they have time. So I think it's just important that we make green choices easier, convenient, cost-effective. So it's the easier option. Most people are always gonna pick the easier option, the cheapest option. So we have to make the environmental choices that option.